Welcome back everyone. Finally we get to talk about another Sony console and the last one I talked about, okay the PS3 was the last one, but the PSP 2000 was actually the first PSP that I owned I think like three years ago and I reviewed that back in 2017 and funny enough that actually at one point ended up being one of my most viewed videos of that year and of all time at that year which is pretty crazy. Now it kind of changed up a little bit but the PSP 2000 I have a lot of love for it and I think it was a pretty big jump from the original PSP which I already made a video about if you want to watch that you can go back on the channel and watch it but the PSP 2000 was released in 2007. Now first off shout out to PlayStation Portable.Fandom.com they keep they're keeping the lockdown over there and I got a lot of this information from their wiki so shout out to them and go on their website if you want to. Now in the US it was released around the September time frame in 2007 which is really cool. Now this one also kind of a way was called PSP Slim which you know there was a lot of different terms for it. It was a much slimmer and lighter version of the original PSP. Now this PSP was 33% lighter and 19% slimmer than the original PSP which is super super crazy and so that's why some people called the original PSP a fat PSP because that one was much much fatter than that one. In terms of the battery they actually had a reduce the battery by a third which is crazy and I cannot believe I just read that that is insane and you know obviously there's nothing I can do about it now but that's a crazy amount to actually slim down a system for you know what I mean if a phone came out now and they actually decreased the battery by 33% that is crazy just to sacrifice some thinness but I do understand it kind of makes sense I mean you know they you want to shrink down as much as you can but also there had to have been some things that Sony could have done to expand that battery in one way or another but it is whatever you know people have claimed that they got about four and a half to seven hours of battery life on this thing depending on the screen brightness and all that so it is what it is but I, I think it's crazy that Sony did that and even though it was a pretty big jump that's also a pretty big decrease in size of the battery however funny enough and I'm just reading this now Sony released a PSP extended life battery kit which had a 2200 million power battery with a battery cover in it that actually extended the battery of the PSP 2000 which is crazy so I thought that was pretty interesting I mean I never owned it but I think it's pretty funny and the PSP 2000 in terms of the outside also had a little bit like I think it was called piano black or whatever it was maybe that was the original one but that one had a different type of texture is more matte feeling this one actually had a gloss feeling over it which some people liked some people didn't I personally did like it but the original PSP felt a bit more premium in my opinion I'm not too sure how to phrase it but that was one thing that I noticed with the original PSP especially the one I own the Wi-Fi switch also was moved to the top of the PSP and the UMD slot was also changed up a little bit which isn't you know a crazy game defining thing but that was one of the bigger differences for sure and I think really what Sony was trying to do with the PSP 2000 was to make it visibly look better and change all the hardware things from the PSP 1000 to the 2000 series. I don't think it was supposed to be like a way faster. They weren't trying to prolong this thing like crazy or anything. It did have some cooler features that the original PSP didn't, but I think they were mainly focusing on being visibly better than at least like the original PSP and they were, you know, at the time competing against the DS Lite and the DSi and all those different consoles. And so by them releasing a system like this that looked visibly much better, that would make people probably want to pick this PSP up more than the DS Lite. And it's funny that the DS Lite also had that little glossiness going on with it, and the PSP 2000 also had it as well. So I find that really interesting that they both had that type of complement to each other. And I think the PSP 2000, how it holds up in 2020, is really more or less the same as the PSP 1000. It still has a lot going for it for sure. You know, obviously if you want to modify it, I have a tutorial on how to do that on my channel I made like two years ago. And I think it's really cool. I love the PSP series, and the PSP 2000 was a step definitely in the right direction. Even if you look at like a PS Vita, that has a lot of things that the PSP 2000 actually had. And I think the PSP 2000 is really cool. The game selections for this thing is awesome. I wasn't a fan of that memory card. I don't think really anybody was. It was proprietary to this thing, which is kind of annoying. But the graphics on this game were really cool. And really the game selection is one of the biggest advantages for this specific console. There's so many games out for this thing. And because this thing is super old, it's not like outdated, but because it is pretty old, those games and everything, that whole history of it, you can still pick up and play all those great games and like Loco Roco and Crash Bandicoot whatever and all those different things and that's a huge advantage for the PSP and I've always was envious when I would look at a person who was playing a PSP when I would own a DS Lite and I was so jealous of those graphics on those games and and nowadays you know it's kind of tapered down a little bit but I'm still jealous bro even though I own the consoles like so without a doubt I'll definitely tell you the PSP 2000 was definitely a big step from the original PSP and even now in 2020 I think it still holds up quite well if you ask me so that really pretty much covers it you can probably pick one up for like $20 on eBay if you really look hard enough so I think that really pretty much covers it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we 
week at really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.